Hello there. Sir from 17 once again. Welcoming you to my Destiny walkthrough. This is going to be live rather than post commentary. It's also not going to be on the hardest difficulty because Destiny doesn't do that very well. So instead, without further ado, we're just going to play. So I wasn't going to make a walkthrough for this game because I don't really think it deserves one. But at the same time, because I've had such a, a, a large period of time off from content, I want to try and do as much as I can to kind of, you know, give a nice flurry of stuff to watch on the channel for the, the hungry folks waiting for that. And right now, I only have really one project happening and one I'm recording, so I am more than capable of upping my schedule and adding another project to it. Ideally, I would like three projects at the same time, but we're in a bit of a dry spell. Because I think alternating between three different series is, is just diverse enough, but still, you know, rigid enough in its schedule to, to be interesting. So, this is my character, for anybody wondering. I'm a level 28 warlock. We're not going to be using that. Um, we're going to be starting again. And we're going to be picking a titan. An armoured engine of war. Control any battle with strength and strategy. He has the striker ability and the defender ability, which is actually pretty interesting, but also kind of shitty too. It fucks your team, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, we're going to be male because I'm a misogynist. Uh, just not that male. Interesting. Can you be a black, white person? No, that's lips. <laughs> Zeph, you can only be Aryan. Oh no. I don't really want to mess about here for too long, even though I kind of hate when my character looks... Um, give him some... Ooh, I do like the... The radiance on them eyes, man. He's trapping me. Yeah, we'll go with that. Hair... Uh, I think the hair's kind of lacking in this game. It looks decent. It's got decent... Well, aside from maybe that. Or that. Wow. Can we rotate him? Uh, no. Wow. Jesus. <laughs> Who does this? Bloody hell. Goodness me. Goodness me. Like, none of it looks good. Let's go shot back in sides. Uh, I can't do that. Can I? Yeah, we'll go shot back in sides. Fuck that shit. Alright, markings. Goodness me, that's like African tribalism. Or tribal marks. Jesus. Goodness. Wow. <laughs> So you can have black markings, but you can't have black skin colour. Wow. It's such a strange choice to have this. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have any. I'm going to be boring. Sorry, folks, I don't really want to do this. I might actually take this shit out because I'm just not interested. I'm also going to try my best not to talk over loading, because this game fucking loads. We won't survive long out in the open. Like this. Let's get inside the walls. Destiny Prologue, or oh, whatever the hell this is, which is really funny because this is probably the best part of the game. <laughs> this very first instance, because it builds you up to believe that this game is going to be full of interesting and wonderful things, which. I will let you be the judge of whether or not that is true. <laughs> I need to find you a weapon before the Fallen find us. Uh, I thought this game was going to be as I big as, as a Fallout. Like, I thought it would just be a massive desolate wasteland for us to explore, and uh, that is not what we got. Okay. Yeah, I can see him. They're over there. Can you see him? I can see them all. Lens flares don't look too great on uh, last gen. It's got to be said. They probably look really nice on next gen, but not not here. Look kind of pixely. Yep. Magic. 
Ooh. Love me a rifle. I do th think it's interesting that the very first rifle you get has a cracked scope. None of the guns you're going to get later on have cracked optics at all. Which I think is a missed opportunity. Whoa, dude. Whoa, that is weird. I forgot I have a different melee. I'm so used to my Warlock doing his little like left-handed punch of doom. Oh shit, again. This guy feels kind of slow. My mobility's a little up on my other build. Hopefully we'll, we'll increase that as we play. Not really used to this gun either. It's got no bullets and there we go. There's more ahead. Yeah, Keep there's always up. more. We don't have a grenade yet, which is going to throw me off because I'm used to leading with grenades. It's got a very good sense of scale. This game, I just think it goes completely unused. Loot cache. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, underwhelming shotgun, but it'll do. Trip mines. Don't yeah. touch them. Can I punch them? Would that be a really foolish idea? I feel like it would be. You can't. Never get me in the slammer, boys. Interesting. So the one thing you want to bear in mind and pay attention to a lot is, of course, your map. Your map is insanely important in this game. It's important in every game, but... It tells you where enemies are, it tells you when you're in trouble, it tells you everything you need to know, really. It also points you to your waypoint, but that's a little bit annoying because you have to keep bringing it up like this to get the diamond on your screen. But you can follow the, the white arrow on the screen should you not want to do that so much. Which I would be completely understanding if, if you didn't want to. And then we're going to get here and take on a boss character, I believe. After we've killed some of these enemies, anyway. But yeah, level ones and the tech in a pounding. I'm so weak. Surprise, got face. But I'm doing it live, folks. You might be wondering why. Because I honestly don't think I could come back to this and commentate it. Because the game is is interesting in, in some responses. And what my task will be while I play is to try and make it as interesting as possible. Because you don't really do that much in Destiny. Except for shoot. Than this place than I thought. And you could argue further. that's kind of every first person shooter ever made. But in Destiny, because the diversity in the mission structure is non existent, it really makes it aware that all I'm doing is shooting. So I'm going to have to, hopefully, you know, talk about some interesting tangents when they come to me and just keep you engaged. And that would be something that is definitely easier to do when I'm not playing. This was an old Cosmodrome. Interesting. There's got to be something we can fly out of. How do you get back here when you play normally? I wonder. Incoming. It's going to be a drop ship. Fallen ships. This close See what I mean though when I say it's got a nice sense of scale minus the, the kind of shoddy skybox texture. So I've got no grenades to spawn camp them, but you can kill them before they drop. It's kind of funny, I, I'm using weapons at this moment in time that have vastly bigger clips and no recoil. So I can just laser beam people. I actually have to aim at this moment. Which is a little different to what I'm used to. Something else worth noting, which I find quite interesting. Considering this is a Bungie-esque Halo game, in spite of it not being Halo, jump shotting is really bad. And the reason for this is your aim is affected in the air. Like your bullets don't go where your aimer is. So jump shot in, real bad idea to do it because it's very tricky to get your bullets to go where you need them to be. Not entirely sure why that is. Even when you have the boost, it's tricky to land some of your jump shots. So as much as I like doing it and I like doing it in Halo, in this game it's probably better to not do that. Uh, unless you have that perk that slows you down a little bit in midair. I'm not going to be looking too much for chests. They do exist. They're completely random and they appear in many locales. Interesting. See that as well. When I jumped then, my gun was... Uh, it put it into an animation of it. Yeah, it's because I ran. 
that's what it is. So if you notice, when I jump when I don't sprint, I can fire. But if I sprint, I lock my gun out and I can't quite get the gun up as quick as I normally would if I did not do that. So that's something worth uh, knowing, I guess. It's interesting deficit. Picking up signs of an old jump ship. And I've not seen that in a while. Get out of here. All right, gotta find the ship, and we've got some upgrades, but we'll we'll save that for the moment. Surprise! <laughs> Eyes. Ah, oh, another day in Destiny. Eh? Shooting them into faces like it's your job. Ooh, out. Captain. And he's got a name. Who oh, no. So the Captains, uh, think of them like the Elites. They're bitches. That's what they are. They have a shield that comes back insanely quick and they hide so that they can get their shield back. Uh, you could call it clever. I call it annoying. Uh, they were one of the enemies that I hate. I just don't like fighting too much. Because they're incredibly powerful. And if you get them as a, an ultra or a major, uh, they can easily take out an entire team. Just because of how resilient their shield is. That did not work. I'm going to try my best to use a diverse amount of weapons too. And there we have it. That is the end of the first mission, folks. We get our rewards, we're now level 2, and we're going to be moving into the tower to do the first bit of miscellaneous nonsense before we can go shoot some more things. So thank you very much for watching, and you take care now.